here he is, one of the greatest welterweights in UFC history, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. Some criticized maybe his risk mitigation late in that Leon Edwards fight, but this man is an offensive fighter. He's got every skill in the book, and uh, we'll see which ones he chooses to employ here tonight. It's crazy because when he came off the ultimate fight, he was known as a bit boring. But him and Trevor Whitman have such a great partnership that they have developed a style that works for Kamaru, and it works at such an elite level. He got caught. How does he bounce back? This guy, his jab is tremendous. He can knock you out with it. His wrestling and his top control is second to none. Kamaru Usman possesses all the skills in the world. How does he implement those skills tonight when he steps inside the outfit? And one thing you never have to worry about, the output, the work ethic, one of the hardest workers in the room in the UFC, and he is at the height of motivation getting back on the proven ground tonight. Without that caveat, wrestling's the best base for modern-day mixed martial arts, and his wrestling is truly as good as it gets. As good as it gets, and he lives by the model. He embraces the grind. He gets out there, and he tries to punish you with his effort. He wants to punish you with his intensity, and he wants to overwhelm you with his pressure. That is wrestling. From the wrestling on the mat to wrestling on the feet, it's pressure, pressure, pressure. This young man is just literally, uh, he personifies the style that so many of us were known for. Yeah. Dude, like, pummels all day. His wife's yeah. like, I'm looking for a hug. You don't need to pummel me. <laughs> Tremendous wrestler. We'll see if the hands have developed a little bit, but certainly a good opportunity on a big stage for him here tonight. for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Tonight. All right, early round action here. Kamaru Usman's wrestling is next level. His MMA wrestling, super functional. But he believes that the jab is going to be the key here tonight. Obviously, he has gone to great lengths to develop. Oh! Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He is now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's gonna start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. Oh, now he's gonna find himself in a little more danger. Chael's able to flatten him out. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Nice transition. And he's back up. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots, but Shin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively, that's good. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Back to... Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. He 
passes to half guard. All right, so there's the early takedown for the decorated grappler. Exactly what he wanted to do tonight. Exactly what he needed to do if he's going to want to win this fight. You've got to put this guy on his back early, and you've got to put him on his back off. Oh, look at that. High-level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Champ. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, heavy shots raining down. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Usman getting worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. Beautiful ground and pound. And now he's got his opponent cut. All right, so back to the well with the elbows, and I guess if it's not broken, no need to fix it as he lands another combination. He's getting it so close that it's hard to land anything else, so he's shortening up those elbows, and they're landing beautiful. They're so evenly matched, they're going to attack. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Nice ball. Punch went no more. Gets it. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hit to put his opponent on Bobby Lay. All right, heading back to the corner now, and we will keep a close eye on things. Usman's got a real significant cut above the eye. We'll see if the cut man can stop the bleeding. Second round underway. Oh, rips the body shot there. Clean with that offering. What a beautiful entry on the takedown for Kamala Usman. Now we'll see what he can do with it. His ground and pound is outstanding. He's been more opportunistic with it of late. And you know in terms of the cardio, few men can match it here in this UFC welterweight division. Beautiful. He's back at the clinch. Oh, nice ankle pick there. His wrestling chops on full display tonight. Full display. And it also shows you, John, that he's willing to do it in any way, shape, or form to get to the finish line and get his hand ring. So now the hook in the clinch by Kamoru. Another takedown land. Gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Three minutes to go in round two. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Usman gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. That's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. These ground strikes are starting to add up. All right, has the guard closed here. Back and forth. Great technique on the overhand. Now this hook. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that will land right on the spot. Well, he was wow. shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Oh, nice kick. Big right hand. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Beautiful. Full guard, man, For the 
top fighter, you got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. It's work. Come on, I'll stand you up. It's work. Inside the corner's got the guillotine attempt. Now looks as though he's got the neck. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Not for next. All right, so there's the end of the round. Tough job, but somebody's got to do it, man. Absolutely <laughs> incredible. Both fighters got stunned. It's amazing to think that we fight on. We are in the best seat in the house to watch two men go out there and really lay it on the line. Both got hurt, but even when they were hurt, neither one of them looked like they wanted to take a step back. This is the exact type of fight they expected and the type of fight that they're delivering to the fans. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. The overhand left is true. More strikes to the head. Leg kick is true. Reversal to top position by Sonnet. And now he's got the back. There it is. Now he's going to mouth. Using a lot of good movement. Usman's in half guard. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Oh, he got to the spot. Oh, another heavy shot gets through. Mm, that was nice. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. We need to work out this position. Now, inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is. Big, big shots landed by him now. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, and he's back up again. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, he's got his back. Final seconds of round three. Hey, Next three hey. rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Well, you never like to see a fight end by Dr. Stoppage, but as the round comes to an end, this cut is as bad as it has been all night long, and if they can't stop the bleeding and they deem it to be too bad, this fighter's not going to be afforded the opportunity to continue. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you because blood has really become a factor, and it's a cut that appears to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots for you to get a cut because then the blood starts to come down and it goes into the eye. It's difficult already to see, but when you got one of the best mixed martial artists in the world 
targeted it, it becomes impossible. They call that the trickle down. That's what they want, that's right. <laughs> Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Usman's eye is just mangled. I'm not even sure he can see out of it. I'm surprised they haven't called for the ringside position at this point in the fight. Sonic gets caught by that straight punch. Oh, oh, oh. oh you got to start to look to finish him now. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time, I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We set it inside the octagon once more. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 19 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Chad Sonnen! All right, so another big night in a career full of them for the one, the only, Chael P. Sonnen as he gets his hand raised here tonight. A little bit of a subdued celebration out of the Sun and Camp. You know they have visions of UFC middleweight gold, and they are going to stop at nothing until they get there.